Hey, what's up, guys? The Sand6782 here, here to bring guys a random video. Um, yeah, it's been damn near, I want to say, two weeks since I made a video on this account, which is not bad, in my, at least in my opinion. But, um, yeah, so as you can see from the title above, um, if you're subscribed to Neon Alley, the newsletter, then you would know that you, you would have gotten an email, um, and, and, yeah, an email, you know, listing the cast of the English dub of Nora Rise the Yokai Clan, and apparently, this is one out of this is Nora is one out of the four shows that will apparently have. Okay, yeah, because it said something about here saying we are we here at Neon Alley are proud to announce the dub cast for Nora Rise the Yokai Clan, one of four shows who will have their English language dub debut this fall in Neon Alley, and I think the other three they're referring to is, um, Dead Man, Lager Den J, The Flower of Renee, and I believe you actually said. And I think maybe next week that I think next week's cast the dub cast announcements will probably be um, Blue Exorcist because I've seen some tweets in the last couple of days from Anthony saying we're going to announce the full cast of Blue Exorcist very soon. So, um, so stay tuned. So, I'm not so I mean, but then again, I'm not. And the thing about that is I'm not sure if Anaplex will actually announce the the official the the full cast on by themselves or they're going to leave it up to Neon Alley to announce it like next Tuesday or something but um but yeah so just gonna give my give my thoughts on um the people who are casting certain characters that are I guess significant <laughs> so yeah so starting off we have uh Rico which normal which normal Rico and Night Rico have two different um voice actors in the English dub which I I, I had a feeling they might have done this which I mean me personally I prefer they would have you know got someone that could do both Rico and Night Rico, but it's whatever because I think it was somewhat the same case with um, Rosario Vampire, where Mocha has two actors in English, but in the Japanese, it's the same person. But yeah, um, Normal Rico is being voiced by Daryl Gibo, who pretty much I guess most people know him as um, Mikado Ri Ri Mikado Riagune or something, Mikado and Juara. Um, and then he played some other guy from Prince of Pants, which I don't remember, but, um, but, uh, yeah, I guess that kind of fits. I mean, I could see him, I could totally see him pulling off, um, Norman Rico, because Norman Rico is just pretty much, I wouldn't say a wimp, but he, he's just, he's you know, kind of a nerd. Um, so, but, yeah, and Night Rico is going to be voiced by Grant George, which, I, I mean, it's not a John Young Bosch, but I'll fucking take it because fucking Grand George is the man. Like he be playing some badass characters, in my opinion. Like fucking Gen motherfucking Shishio from Kakashi. Anyone who and for anyone who's seen Kakashi, you know what what I mean by how badass. Ah, uh, fucking Gen. He's Gen Shishio has to be one of my favorite characters in anime of all time. Um, he plays Izu Kira in um, Bleach. Um, he's someone in Naruto. Suigetsu, there we go. Suigetsu and Naruto Shippuden. And, um, yeah. So, Grant George is Night Rico. Looking forward to hearing his performance. And, uh, apparently they got some new people. I mean, not, yeah, in terms of voice actors, new people that are voicing characters. Like, the voice actor for, uh, Kano, who's that girl that hangs out with those sig unsignificant humans. <laughs> um,. Uh, apparently, she's going to be voiced by Kayla. I'm going to butcher her last name. Kayla Yesratsian. Yesratsian. I don't know. I don't know if that if that's an alias or that's the actual or if that's the chick's actual last name. Because some of them, some of the people that are casting this, um, are going by their alias names like fucking uh, Don A. Nordin, which is an alias for Brian Beacock, who is known for. Um, Mikado and Digimon Tamers, um, Yumichika and Bleach, Sakon and Naruto, um, yeah, and I think he plays someone in Bobobo, but, um, but yeah, and oh, by the way, Brian Beacock plays uh, Shima, who's this, who's the, the blonde kid that pretty much, um, hangs around Kiyotsugu, I think that's his name, so, yeah, guy that pretty much, you know, just hangs out with the guy that's obsessed with yokai so but uh yeah going back to kana um yeah so 
I don't know if it's if this is a new actress or it's definitely Ellis. So I'll have to hear the her voice in order to figure it out. So same thing goes with uh, Yura, which she's going to be apparently played by Sophia Roberts. So again, could be an Ellis or could be a new person. Um, who else can I talk about? Nirari Hion, William Frederick. Don't really care about Nirari Hion. I'm pretty much more interested in who's going to voice um, young Nirari Hion, which. He only put in the first season. He only he appears in like in one episode, but like in season two, he appears. He has his own little story with you know, Yohime. But um, yeah, uh, Altabo is gonna be voiced by Kyle Haber. Cool. Um, Kuraltabo is gonna be apparently voiced by be voiced by this guy named Ben Kronsky, which I believe, which actually I believe he's an AD. He's a former ADV voice actor because I actually looked him up. Um, and I see that he was in Cromarty High, Cromarty High School, I believe. Yeah, which is a, like an old ass, not, not, well, yeah, like pretty much an old ADV dub. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's cool. Uh, Yukiona, Cassandra Lee, which is, you know, kind of nice because not, because I guess now Cassandra Lee is now in, um, it's going to be start doing stuff and doing some biz stuff because up until now she's been doing you know, voice stuff for Bondi and main, mostly Aniplex, actually. So, yeah, so nice to see her in a biz dub. Kubunashi, Kubunashi is my nigga, especially in season two. But, uh, yeah, Kubunashi, the floating head, Yokai, is going to be voiced by Todd Stone, which, when I first saw that name, it kind of makes me think if Todd Stone is actually an alias for Todd Habercorn, which anyone, everyone knows Todd Habercorn. He's pretty much like the second Vic Mignon. Like, come on, Natsu... In Fairy Tale, Alan and D. Grayman, uh, uh, Wadanuki and Hollick, the list goes on. So I think T Todd Stone could possibly be a alias for Todd Haricorn because, as you may or may not know, Todd Haricorn has, I wouldn't say recently moved to L.A., but he's, he's been in L.A. for a good while because actually he's been in, actually he's been in Naruto, um, Shippuden. So, and for anyone who wants to know who his character is in Naruto, he pretty much plays the pain that, um, that Jiraiya, what do you call it, he's the, how would I say this, he's pretty much, he was the pain that, um, he was one of the pains that, you know, Jiraiya gave a, um, a scar on, on his forehead. I believe he appears in episode 127 or something, yeah, 127, 128, and he played some random ass, um, uh, one of the two random rain ninjas that, you know, Jiraiya captured and interrogated for information to find pain. So, um, yeah. So Todd Stone could be Todd Habercorn, which that would be awesome. Wouldn't be surprised if Todd eventually pops up in Bleach, but, you know, hey. Uh, anyway, uh, Gyuki, um, is going to be voiced by Taylor Henry, which is an alias for Jameson Price, who was known for voicing characters such as Chad in Bleach, um, Deatard, or something, Deatar or something, and, um, Kogias, um, uh, and yeah, just look him up, <laughs> but yeah, ta um, Jameson Price, I had a feeling he was gonna voice, um, Yuki, because fucking, um, Yuki's Japanese counterpart, Joji Nakata, it's pretty much, it's, they're like, their voices are very similar, it's like, it's like Jameson Price is like, the Japanese, is, uh, is the Japanese counterpart to Joji Nakata, and if you don't know who Joji Nagata is, he's this really mellow, deep voice um, voice actor who was known for roles such as Alucard and Hellsing. Uh, recently, he's actually Hody in One Piece. So, um, yeah, for any One Piece fans out there, yeah. And also, he's um, for anyone who watches Sket Dance, you know, he's Chu Sensei in that. So, and um, yeah, um, I guess. Those are the, pretty much the only people I really want to talk about. So, um, the other people are pretty much, you know, characters I really couldn't care less about. Um, so yeah, for any, so I'm pretty much, obviously, if you guys aren't subscribed to Neon Alice's newsletter, I'll just, you know, put the rest, the rest of the cast in the description if you want to see it for yourself. Um, my thoughts just based on the, you know, the casting, it seems, it seems like this is going to be a really solid dub. Um, so I really can't wait, again, to see their performances um, when you know when um, 
and then it comes out on Neon Alley, which I would think Neon Alley is probably going to come out in September, because Anaplex kind of spoiled it when they were like, don't forget to check out, you know, Blue Exorcist on Neon Alley in September, so I'm like, is it going to, so I'm like, I think you may have just spoiled the release date for Neon Alley. I mean, even though they didn't say the date, they said, they just keep saying, look forward to watching Blue Exorcist dub in September, so I'm, and all this said was, it's going to come out in this fall, so, you know, whatever, it'll be cool, but yeah, uh, September, the earlier the better, I say. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Um, for any newer fans out there that are watching this video, what are your thoughts on um, on the cast list for Neurobots, the Yokai Clan? And um, just, yeah, so anyway, leave it in the comments below. If you have any, this is the, C this is the Sand 6782. Um, I might do this with Zedman whenever the dub cast for that get comes out. I doubt I'll do this for um, Logger NJ because... And, I don't really care. I really wouldn't. I really don't care who's going to be casting that. Honestly, now I might do that with Blue Exorcist too. Whenever Anaplex or Neon Alley announces the dubcast for that. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.